Okay, I flew into a thunderstorm a minute ago, and for the first time, I actually found an Asobo thermal. Uh, I was I was shocked. I've flown around underneath clouds a million times. I've actually I have. Here we go. I'm going to fly into this thunderstorm. I've set thunderstorm weather. I'm flying here. I'm in the AS33, the Schleicher here. AS33, glider downloadable, flight sim dot to uh, There's the weather. Um, temperature MSL, I've set to 28. In case that makes a difference. I've turned the wind off because the gusts and stuff like that, if there is wind, you're never too sure. That's what direction am I flying? I'm flying and yeah, northish, north northwest. Um, and I'm referring to this instrument in the corner here, which is a netto variometer, which is a compensated rate of climb. It subtracts any airspeed acceleration or deceleration. Oh, here we go. Here's, glide. Here's a thermal coming. And uh, you can see here's the altimeter on the left, which is we're at 4,000 feet. Um, I'm actually going to circle gently in this. So it's a 5 knot, 500 feet a minute, 2.5 meter a second thermal. I have actually thermal in cloud in a real glider. It's good fun actually. You can tell when it's a good cloud when you can't see your own wings. There you go, there's a wing tip out there. See, that is us thermaling. Can you see the, the uh, we're not thermaling particularly fast, four and a half knots, which is would be great for a British thermal, um, not very good for a thunderstorm. We are definitely climbing there. You saw we went into this at 4,000 feet. This is a glider, there's no engine on. That is quite a revelation. We've been looking for thermals for ages, and uh, we've never had a reliable indication that there is one. And really, you need a, a compensated vario at the very least. A netto variable vario would be ideal, which is what we've got in the AS33. Southish, I'll straighten up and see if I can fly back out of it. I can see the ground, which makes it easier to get the wings up if I need it. So that's actually quite promising. If, uh, if these thermals could be extended into uh, cumulus clouds, you know, same thing. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll go turn around again, go north. Air brakes open, so I'm going down. I'm going to see if there's a thermal underneath it. West, north. Okay. So I've got the air brakes open. I'm going to dive beneath this cloud this time rather than go in it. Like 
again. 1500 feet, I'll get to something like that. There you go, straight now. Let the speed come down and then let it mix off. There. So, I'm not really below cloud base, I don't think. You know, my sort of flight simulator has very extended cloud bases. So I'll give up at this point, but uh, that was definitely the thermal. 